how sweet it is, or should I say, how sweet is it? I'm Buck August, a registered dietitian and diabetes educator with Inlow Medical Center, and here to talk a little bit about sweeteners. I get a lot of questions about sweeteners. Should I use sugar, should I use honey, agave, or maybe an artificial sweetener, like the ones that come in the pink, yellow, and blue packets? Some people even these days are choosing stevia, which comes in green packets. If you do choose to use sugar, I recommend going easy on it, a whole lot of added sugar has been shown to not be so good for our health over time. If you choose an artificial sweetener or stevia, again, it's something you might want to go easy on. It's not just free reign, but having a serving two a day is okay for most people. When it comes to drinks, there's a lot of options out there. Regular old water is great. Great for hydration, great for our bodies. A lot of people that I work with say they don't like the taste of water, so cut up some citrus like lemon or lime, put it in your water, maybe cut up some different fruit and put it in a pitcher with the water. Oftentimes people will choose sparkling water instead of you know plain or still water as they call it sometimes, and those are great options too. Still get the hydrating qualities of water, but it doesn't have anything added to it in terms of sweeteners. These days, things like LaCroix have gotten to be very popular. That's a sparkling water with the addition of a flavor. So it doesn't have an artificial sweetener, it doesn't have any sugar, it just has a flavor added to it. And a lot of people find those more satisfying than maybe a plain sparkling water. And it can be a good bridge from a soda. So soda, regular soda, can have a lot of sugar added to it. This can of soda has about 39 grams of sugar. And to give you a visual, that is this much sugar is dissolved in that can of soda. So that's all white sugar in there. That's all, quite a bit of sugar. Some people, to avoid the sugar in soda, will choose a diet soda. So this is you know, carbonated, flavored, colored, but they use the artificial sweeteners in there instead of regular sugar. So it doesn't have calories, it doesn't have sugar, but it does have those artificial sweeteners, which we wanna, generally speaking, go easy on. Now, when it comes to juice, oftentimes people say, hey, if this is fresh squeezed juice, you know, I, I squeeze it myself, isn't this good and healthy for me? You do get some vitamins and different things from the juice, but you do get a lot of concentrated sugar. So for instance, this is 100% pineapple juice, and this has 22 grams of sugar in it. That is the same amount of sugar that's in a package of Reese's peanut butter cups, just to give you an idea. So there's a fair amount of sugar in this juice. If you do like juice, I recommend it in moderation. Now, some people who really love juice but are trying to watch their sugar intake might get something like a diet juice, which uses some artificial sweetener in place of the sugar, so it doesn't have all the sugar and calories. And for some people, that's a fine option. Kombucha is a really popular thing these days. A lot of people like the, the bubbles and they feel like it's good for them. It has some good healthy bacteria, which is good for our gut health. This does have some sugar though. So this has about 15 grams of sugar in it. So less than the juice, but still some sugar for sure. Now other things have a lot of sugar, even things that we might consider healthy. So something like Gatorade. This bottle of Gatorade, so this is the regular type of Gatorade, has 55 grams of added sugar. So again, to give you a visual, that's about this much sugar is dissolved into this bottle of Gatorade. So that's a fair amount of sugar in that bottle. Now again, there's alternatives. So some people might choose Gatorade Zero, which has the electrolytes and different things that people like from Gatorade, but they use an artificial sweetener instead of the sugar. So this one has no sugar, has the electrolytes. So that's an, you know, an option, an alternative out there. Now tea is another one. Regular tea, you know, if you brew a bag of tea, that doesn't have any sugar. There's no sugar in the tea leaves. So something like this bottle, you know, this is a, a pre-brewed black tea, no sugar. So this is, uh, you know, sh sugar-free, has some taste. A lot of people like things like this. There's even things like these little squeeze bottles of flavored. So this is a sweet tea flavored water enhancer. So you could use this to give your plain water some flavor. Again, some artificial sweeteners in there, so take it for what it is. And then to give you one more example of a drink that has quite a bit of sugar, this is an extra sweet tea. So this bottle of tea has 64 grams of sugar in there. So that's more than any of these other drinks. And to give you a visual, 
that's about this much sugar is dissolved in that tea. So when it comes to drinks, really take a look at the label, see how much sugar is in there. If you're okay with some artificial sweeteners, you can choose those, but I recommend choosing those in moderation. And if it is a real high sugar drink that you really love, you can make it a part of your diet, but maybe choose it occasionally. At Inlow Medical Center, your health is our top priority. We're here for you. Let's all stay home and healthy together.